Hello and welcome to We Are Finn. Now we've all heard of Wi-Fi, GSM, LTE, 5G, lots of interconnectivity in the aerospace industry. With me now, Harold Haas, uh, the Director of Li-Fi Research and Development at the University of Edinburgh and from Pure Li-Fi. Um, we've got all that interconnectivity, Harold. Welcome to We Are Finn, by the way. Um, Thank you. Why do we need and what is Li-Fi? So Li-Fi is uh, high-speed networked wireless communications using light, the light spectrum, and basically using LEDs and photo detectors to, to receive and transmit uh, the data. The question why we need it is the spectrum crunch. Uh, if we have, we are looking back the last 10 years, that mobile traffic has increased 60% every year. And if we would forecast uh, 10 and 20 years from now, the amount of spectrum we would require, so spectrum, radio spectrum, would be six terahertz spectrum. However, the radio spectrum is only 0.3 terahertz. That means we have a 20 times shortfall in order to provide the connectivity of the future, which, by the way, drives the fourth industrial revolution. So actually, actually we don't have enough radio spectrum. And that's why we've been looking into the visible light spectrum and the uh, infrared spectrum for the last six, 16 years and have used LEDs and, 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 uh, and infrared LEDs for high-speed connectivity because the entire spectrum is 2,600 times larger than the entire radio spectrum. So basically, it's the new oil well for connectivity in the, of the future. And uh, as we are talking about connected aircraft and connectivity in a cabin, an ideal environment to make these cabins and create a connectivity within these cabins. Uh, so in layman's terms, yeah. give me the, the technology behind this idea. The technology is basically we take an LED, an LED lamp, and there's hundreds of LED lamps already in an aircraft cabin, and we change the light intensity very subtly at very high speeds, and the changes of the intensity would carry the data that we are transmitting. We can't do it with incandescent lights because they would not react in the same way, but LED are electronic devices, so they react very quickly to intensity changes. It would not be recognizable by the human eye because the speed at which we change the intensity is far beyond what a, what a human eye can, can recognize, so it's, it's hidden inside the intensity. So we are using that mechanism to transmit data at really, really high speeds. We have, have 8 gigabit from a single LED in our lab. And that is faster than the current, the fastest Wi-Fi standard at the moment. And that's with a single LED. Now imagine you have hundreds of LEDs. What you could do in a cabin, it's, it's, it's incredibly amazing. And we'll talk, so let's talk about security then, because with Wi-Fi oh, yeah. and LTE and 5G, everyone wants about encryption and security. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If this is light, where is your encryption? Uh, so, by the way, we use the same uh, protocols, security protocols, that we use in Wi-Fi. So we have exactly the same level of security that we have in radio, but we have an additional layer of security because unlike radio communications, which passes through uh, an aircraft, for example, or a wall, the ray, uh, light stops at a wall. Behind the wall, you don't see ray light and therefore the, 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 the wall blocks that transmission entirely. So you can really create a very secure, physically secure environments and also light cones are sort of limited to a certain space and you can only intercept within that space and, and that creates a massive additional security level uh, by a factor of 20 and more compared to current radio uh, Wi-Fi standards as our research has shown. And in terms of the passenger experience on, a, on an airliner, how is, this, how is Li-Fi going to impact on that? I think if you imagine that the current wave of uh, virtual reality, augmented reality, AR, VR, you think about sort of cabin cameras, uh, inside a, uh, cameras inside a cabin, maybe many displays in a cabin, There's, and you want to have high definition video streaming to these displays and monitors, you don't have the, enough radio spectrum. And by the way, you don't want to interfere with the radio, terrestrial radio systems like LTE and 5G outside the aircraft cabin. So you need this a massive amount of bandwidth and, and life fi provides the bandwidth and does not interfere with any radio system outside. So you can operate the system anytime and everywhere on the planet because it's also not regulated. So it's, it's a 2,600 times bigger resource than the entire radio spectrum, all for us to, to grab and, and do smart things with it. As you said, the oil well of the fourth revolution. Industrial revolution, indeed. It's like the fourth industrial revolution, the oil well for it. 
Harold, thank you for your insight and your time. Thank you very much. Okay, for the latest on that idea and Li-Fi technology in full, head now. You get all our videos, of course, online at wearefin.com. Thank you.